If you have a number that is a bigger number, like a three digit number, we're going to need to use a more efficient way, a quicker way of, you, uh, of completing our division. So one of those methods that we can use is our partitioning method. Okay, so if we are partitioning, we are thinking about our place value. We're thinking about what each digit actually means, splitting it up, and then completing each digit as it stands. So let's complete 846 divided by 2. Okay, so if we're partitioning 846, we are breaking that up into the hundreds. We've got eight hundreds. Our tens, we've got four tens. And our ones, we've got six ones. Okay. So if we are breaking this down, we've got eight hundreds, which we can write as eight hundred, or we can write it as eight hundreds using our words. So eight hundreds divided by two. Well, we know that eight divided by two is four. So that will give us four hundreds. OK, so that is our hundreds dealt with. Let's now move on to our tens. We've got 40 in our tens, so that can be written as four tens. So if we're looking for four tens divided by two, well, we know that four divided by two is two, so we've got two tens. And the last column we have to deal with is our ones. So we've got six in our ones. So if we're doing six ones divided by two, we know that six divided by two is three. So our answer is three ones. So now what we have to do is we have to bring our answers together to make one full number that has our three digits in the correct place value. So 400 two tens and three ones. So four, eh, sorry, 846 divided by two equals 423. Okay, so that would be our partitioning method. We are breaking up the number into our place values. We've got the hundreds, the tens and the ones. We work them through separately and then we put our numbers back together at the end to get our final answer.